Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve three interesting examples based on energy and power of unit step signal and exponential signal. Before I start with my solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later, you can check for the solution in this video itself. So this is question number one, freeze the video and try it by your own. This is question number two, freeze the video and try it by your own. And this is last question of this video. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I will explain solution of question number one. In question one, we need to identify energy and power of unit step signal. So unit step signal that is having magnitude one for t greater than or equal to zero. So for t greater than or equal to zero, we have magnitude one. And for t less than 0, we have 0 magnitude. So first of all, we need to note down given signal in terms of function. So here signal is unit step signal. And for unit step signal, we have value 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. And we have value 0 for t less than 0. Right. Now I will identify energy and power. Before you identify energy and power, you need to understand one thing. See, as if given signal is periodic signal, then that will be power signal. So as if periodic signal is given to you, then we need to identify power of it and energy will be infinite. But if you observe this signal, that is not periodic. So first of all, we need to identify energy. And as if energy is zero, or infinite in that situation we need to identify power so let us identify energy of this signal so one should know energy calculation energy e can be calculated by integration where limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the function right here we have signal x of t that is unit step signal where limit is there as per t is greater than or equal to 0, for t less than 0, it is 0. So here limit is there from 0 to infinite and square of the amplitude that is 1 square, right. Now if you integrate this, then integration will be t where limit is there from 0 to infinite. So this value is infinite. As it is infinite, one can say given signal is not energy signal. As it is not energy signal, now we need to identify power. So for a power calculation, one should know the basic equation. See equation is limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integration where limit ranges from minus t to plus t function square dt. Right. This is the basic equation that one should know. Now here you see t is going towards infinite and if you observe the function then function is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So here we need to simplify this. Here we need to substitute limit. Now you see for 0 to minus t it is 0 right. So here 0 to capital T is there where t is going towards infinite and function square that is 1 square that is 1 right. Now if you integrate this, then integration will be t and if you substitute the limit, then that will be capital T only, right. So here we will be having capital T and this t and this t is getting cancelled. So we have only half, right. So here we have finite power that is half and energy is infinite. What it means? It means given signal is power signal. So one should know step signal is power signal. It is not energy signal. Why I am writing this statement? The reason is sometimes there can be one mark MCQ in competitive examination. At that time I have seen students are thinking like as if given signal is periodic then only it is power. Otherwise they write like it is energy signal. But there is a misconception. See here with step signal we don't have periodic signal. But here energy is infinite and for unit step signal 
पावर इज हाफ दैट्स वाई यूनिट स्टेप सिग्नल इज पावर सिग्नल राइट नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल सी सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड पावर फॉर दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल सिग्नल नाउ यू सी हियर वी हैव एक्सपोनेंशियल सिग्नल दैट इज ई टू द पावर माइनस ए टी इन टू यू ऑफ टी सो यू ऑफ टी दैट इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ई टू द पावर माइनस ए टी यू ऑफ टी इज वॉट यू ऑफ टी दैट इज हैविंग मैग्नेट्यूड वन फॉर टी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इट इज हैविंग जीरो मैग्नेट्यूड फॉर टी लेस देन जीरो सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई जीरो with t less than 0 then only signal will appear for t greater than or equal to 0 and if you multiply that then e to the power minus at that will be appearing somewhat like this you can observe this is e to the power minus at right where here we have one magnitude e to the power 0 that is 1 right and see if you multiply u of t then for t less than 0 we will be having zero value right so now i will write down this function in terms of mathematical expression so this x of t that is e to the power minus at for t greater than or equal to 0 and that is zero for t less than 0 right and if you observe this signal that is not periodic as if it is not periodic then first of all we need to identify energy of the signal so energy of the signal is integration where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite x of t square dt now here if you observe see for t greater than or equal to 0 we have e to the power minus at and for t less than 0 it is zero so here now limit will be zero to infinite and square of this so that will be e to the power minus 2 at dt right if you do square of this then power is getting multiplied by 2 over here that's why minus 2 at that is the power which i have mentioned here now if you integrate this then this will be e to the power minus 2 at and this constant that is minus 2a that you need to divide and limit is there from 0 to infinite now we need to place limit over here so minus 1 by 2a that is constant and then if you place infinite limit then e to the power minus infinite is there and if you place 0 then minus e to the power 0 is there e to the power minus infinite that is 1 divided by infinite so that is 0 and e to the power 0 that is 1 minus minus plus so this is 1 by twice a right this is 1 by twice a so energy is 1 by twice a that is finite value what it means given signal is energy signal and for energy signal power is 0 that one should know right now i will explain last example of this video see in last example we need to identify energy and power for exponential signal e to the power at ut so first of all you need to understand how that signal will appear see e to the power at ut that will be appearing like this you can observe it will be appearing like this this is e to the power at but ut that is unit step signal that is having value 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and that is having zero value for t less than 0 so if you multiply ut then this portion that is getting eliminated right and signal will be appearing like this you can observe this is exponential curve right now i will represent this in terms of function so signal is x of t that is e to the power at for t greater than or equal to 0 and that is 0 for t less than 0 right and see at t is equals to 0 e to the power 0 that is 1 so here magnitude is 1 right at t is equals to 0 now 
we need to see whether this signal is periodic or not. If it is periodic, then find power. The reason is periodic signals are power signals, right? But this is not periodic signal. So we need to identify energy of it. So energy will be E is equals to limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the function, right? If you substitute the limit, then we have x of t over t greater than or equal to 0 means limit is there from 0 to infinite and square of this means e to the power square means 2at right now if you integrate this then e to the power 2at by twice a where limit is there from 0 to infinite so 1 by 2a and e to the power infinite minus e to the power 0 e to the power infinite that is infinite right e to the power 0 is 1 so energy is infinite over here as energy is infinite we need to identify power p is equals to limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2 t integration from minus t to plus t square of the function right now here if you observe, we have function x of t for t greater than or equal to 0. So here we have capital D that is going towards infinite. And for 0 to minus t, for 0 to minus t, we have 0 value. So here we have 0 to plus t integration limit only where t is going towards infinite. And if you do square of this, then it will be e to the power 2at, right? Now we need to integrate this. So here in integration, you need to be careful. Here we have e to the power 2at by twice a, where limit is there from 0 to capital T. So if you do this integration, then here we will be having e to the power 2a capital T, that is first limit, minus e to the power 0 that is 1 right divided by twice a now here if you observe we have limit t tends to infinite and 1 by 2 t is there if you have 1 by 2 t so 1 by infinite means 0 so this power that is 0 so here we have energy that is infinite and we have power that is 0 what it means this given signal e to the power at ut that is not energy signal as well as it is not power signal right and this is special case in which you will be observing we don't have energy and power both combination right so i have seen only one example which is based on signal which is not energy and power that's why i thought i should calculate this example in front of you and there can be question in competitive examination like whether given signal is energy or power but one should know this is not energy and it is not also power signal right i hope you have enjoyed this session still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video